Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is me, Lasty here, and welcome today to a brand new episode of the FIFA 23 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Finger points to the sky for episode number 96 today. That's right, just a few episodes away now from the first century of this series. Oh my days. And just a few days away, of course, from the holiday season being finally here. Christmas is nearly upon us. Um... I'm starting to feel a little bit festive. Normally, I don't get there until about Christmas Eve. So, uh, yeah, still a couple of days to go. If you do enjoy today, do me a favor. A really nice early Christmas present from you lot would be to literally just hit the thumbs up on the video. We'd love to see 2,000 likes on this one. If you can make that happen, you'll make my day. And, of course, subscribe as well to my channel if you're new. You can click the little notification bell and all of that good stuff. Let's get cracking, shall we? <coughs> Excuse me. So... Where's my centre back gone? Well, I said to you at the end of the uh, yesterday's episode, I didn't really love uh, Cannavaro. Uh, it didn't quite do it for me. I think I shouldn't have bought him. Really, he's he's, he's too short uh, to play alongside Cordoba. Uh, and I also listed up Perisic for a minor loss, 10k or so, um, just because well, I wasn't really using him, and I've got better bench players or as good bench players to to use. So um, yeah, Cannavaro doesn't sell yet, but Perisic does. Uh, we get our, I believe we get our first uh, winter wildcard swap token as well. We'll go through that at, towards the end of the video. I'll go through exactly uh, kind of like my plans with what we're going to do with tokens and stuff uh, if we're able to get them all. Um, so, yeah, quite interesting. So uh, here is to get the first the first token. I managed to get that. I know it's been out a couple of days. And there's probably more tokens out now. But um, we'll just get grab the first couple. The first one was free. And then we've got this one as well. Um, joining our club. So two out of 30 completed. And we'll, we'll certainly get a lot more along the way. Uh, but we what we will do today also is probably put all of our golds into the the 81 plus doubles so when it comes to having those sbcs to get tokens we're probably going to struggle to put the squads together and it may just require my coin balance to go out and buy the necessary players and i'm fine with that because we're not completely broke we're certainly not rich we're only worth sort of 280 290k or something like that um but yeah we can we can we can scrape by can't we we've got a lot of good untradeables i am someone that always takes untradeable rewards where possible to get double the amount of packs for you lot um and that's exactly why we aren't super 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 rich uh, i'm guessing so here's me completing one 80 plus double but i think with the stuff in my club i was able to get eight of them done so let's open these all in a row shall we first one is gonna be lights up What's it going to be? Van Dyke? Oh no, it's going to be De Vrij. Uh, eight. We'll take an 84. I think 84 and above in any of these are actually a bit of a dub. So double 84s is, is a, a particularly good little pack for fodder. Oh, team of the tournament in pack number two. Argentina! Oh, sent a mid from Brighton. I thought I got messy. I thought I got messy. I thought it was finally my time. But no, it wasn't to be. Uh, we get McAllister, uh, who had a worldy of, uh, of a tournament. And I wonder if his price tag has gone significantly higher since since being on the big stage, um, playing with Messi and winning the World Cup. So uh, Brighton have got a, a decent little player on their hands there. We also packed Di Maria, who we unlocked the better version of uh, yesterday, the team of the tournament you know, game for getting essentially a, a really good performance in the final um and then we you know some of them are never uh, they're not all going to be great are they we're not on to a winner every single time so we'll take the l and move on from that one but it is lights up straight away for the next one we can get ourselves a little vlahovic there is still actually as he is he still out is vlahovic still out he might be an option for me you know i might try and get the sbc done although i feel like i feel like he's been out so long now that if you were going to get him, you'd got him a few days ago. You know, I'd have got him a week ago or whatever. Anyway, time for the 85 plus. Well, we'll get to it in a minute. But because I had a duplicate, I was able to complete the 85 plus nation specific. Well, whatever it is. Get a walkout in one of the 81 plus doubles. Can't complain with an I'm Eric Laporte. Uh, yeah, we'll take that all day long. Again, good fodder to start rebuilding the club up again. For whatever good SBC comes my way that I decide that I want to open. No lights for this pack right here. And get ourselves an 82 rated. Oh, Nana, nah, that's your name. Uh, and then, is it a duplicate? Oh, no, it's not. It's an Inyaki Williams. 
couple of packs to go then. One of which being the 85 plus. And we can get lights up here. Is it going to be a walkout? Is it going to be messy? Is it going to be? No, it can't be messy. Because he's a blue card at the moment, isn't he? It's his teammate, Rodrigo de Paul. And we finally pack Hakimi as well. I'll take it. A double 84 is quite nice. So what are we going to get this one then? World Cup SF Nations player pack. 85 plus. Are we going to get a promo card? Well, yes, we are. Who are we going to get? We get Croatian center back. Hey, this is a dub. I know it's not the most expensive card in the world, but we get Gvardiol, who is a very good center back on this game. And I used him for the final 10 games of my weekend league. I actually really enjoyed him. He gets a strong link to my purple team, Overna, and I've now got him untradeable. That's a dub. You know, that's a good card for my uh, for my club, for my collection. So uh, potential, he could just fit straight back into the team uh, and we can try and uh, get Timo Werner back in again. I know we kind of just sorted the striking positions, but I guess Paul Butra Gueno out for now. Uh, and we can just put Werner in there, as you can see right there. With the right manager and chemistry and links and all of that stuff, uh, we're back to how we were before. 31 out of 33 chem. Everyone on full chem, apart from Donnarumma, who is still my favorite goalie on the game, I think. So we'll play him on one chem. He always gets that one chem off of uh, off of being Italian with, uh, with Di Natale as well, right? So, uh, yeah, we're all good there. But we'll start with Werner up front. Di Maria's kind of out on the wide right, which I don't think is ideal for him. Maybe we'll find a different position for him. But at the moment, I just can't pull Di Maria away from being the... Uh, uh, Di Natale away from being the striker. Or Werner, really. He kind of is more of a striker than anything, isn't he? I don't know what to do in that situation. But uh, yeah, Di Maria can be a wide cam for me. Uh, maybe I'll swap him and Alawai ran around. So the new... The, well, the latest Twitch Prime gaming pack, whatever it's called, is out. Uh, so I grabbed it literally straight away. And... Uh, the best we got was a uh, 84. We got a couple of 84 rateds in that, um, and and 4,000 coins. A couple of anchor chem styles. Not nothing to really complain about, considering it is just something I pay for anyway. Everyone has Amazon Prime, really, don't they these days? Um, and I've gone ahead and submitted my three FGS tokens just for a Prime Gold Players Pack because I'm one away from the 100k pack. But apparently, it's not till like near the end of January when they're next gonna do a. Uh, a stream where the drops are going to be enabled or whatever. So I'll just I'll I'll grab another four tokens along the along the way there. Uh, I just wanted to top up the the club again so I could do one or two more eighty one plus doubles really. Um, so that's exactly what we do. And then with this one, uh, we end up getting a Diogo Jota. All right, I'll certainly take that. It's an 85. So the, the fodder situation in the club right now isn't looking absolutely horrific. But um, we certainly can... Can't do too much, all right. So you know, I, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need some rewards. I'll get my milestone rewards and stuff all in tomorrow's episode. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll do that. But I just needed to finish off my div rivals, right? I was two wins away. Um, I think I'm, I lost my last game of the episode, so I'm not on a hot streak or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> and I think I lost my first two games in this session, again, like a little bit like yesterday. So I'm, I think I'm just gonna show you the wins. But uh, we, we lost the first couple, and, uh, you know, th these ones can only go better, right? Uh, I was just playing like a an idiot. I don't know what I was doing. I was just not focused or anything. Um, but 2-1 down at half time in this game. I'm going gonna, gonna to have to wake up a little bit if I want to wanna get the win here, which, well, spoiler alert, I will I will do exactly that. I brought on Orsic, uh, and then Dino Tale knocks it in. Alawairan is the one that's able to finish. Absolutely love to see that. He's got over 400 games for the club, that boy. Um, we really, really rate him. What a star he has been for us. The best player I've packed this year. Maybe not the most expensive, because I think Butragueno... I don't know if he still is more, but he certainly was about double the price of Alawairan when I packed him. Um, but he's not as much of a superstar as this Saudi fella. He is, uh, he's kind of nuts. So, uh, yeah, eventually we get a 3-2 victory. It wasn't the easiest thing. It wasn't the prettiest thing, but it can get us on our way. Uh, just one more win needed now. And, uh, you know, if I could get it in this next game then I'd have my eight wins. I'd be on that two streak, which would put me potentially on the hot streak, two clicks away from Division 2. Maybe we have that final go at maybe get pushing into Div 2 for the end of the season. Um, and I know I know you guys are all opening up your milestones and stuff today. So, uh, 
yeah, just trying to push my way into the next division before the end of the season here is uh, kind of a good thing. Anyway, we won all at half time. This is the very next game. I pushed forward here. I brought on Harry Kane, who uh, I was realizing that pace wasn't everything in this particular match. I was just messing up with my finishing. Well, if I know someone that can stick the ball in the back of the net, it's Harry Kane. I absolutely love both feet of this fella in, in, in on, on FIFA. He's got a five-star weak foot, and he, he greens stuff no problem. He's very good at it. Uh, and then as you can see there, we... Uh, we get the goal with Di Maria. I hit a little power shot into the into the roof of the net or right into the back of the net. And uh, we win 4-1. So there you go. There's eight wins for the week. All right. And over 50 wins for the season. So we will get some decent rivals rewards to, to claim. But I'm now on a hot streak. If I win my next game, I get double boost. Double, uh, yeah, double progression. So let's go into this final game here. I either lose it. And then I stay in this division for the rest of the season and for my milestones rewards. Or I win it and I get promoted to Division 2 for the ever so slightly better rewards in both the weekly and the milestone stuff. So, I'm 1-0 up. I'll get equalized on. Okay, all right. I, can, uh, I can't tell right now where this one's going. Uh, Di Maria with a little dink ball over to Werner. Same again into Di Natale. 34 minutes on the clock. I'm 2-1 up. Let's push for a third here, shall we? Di Natale just holds the ball up really well. Spots Alawairan, who was just onside. I, I kept playing on. I, I, just, I was just waiting for the whistle to go and tell me he was offside. It looked offside to me. But uh, I'm guessing he must have just been on, right? So with 3-1 up at half time, it's looking good. You know, a couple of changes once again. Harry Kane to just uh, to just, just finish things off for me. Um 4-1, it's looking great. And then this is the best goal I've scored all episode. The roulette, the power shot, the green time, the distant strike. What an absolute goal that is. And secret rage quit is going to rage quit. You love to see it. What a goal that was from the Englishman. So, uh, yeah, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. In the promotion game, which is normally really difficult, I ended up getting the dub. All right, so here we go. Just to show you again, what a finish. What an absolute goal that was. The power shot with the green time. They just fly in every now and again. So there you go. Up to Division 2 for the end of the season. Eight wins as well, obviously. And uh, we're going to get the better rewards. Cool. So uh, lovely stuff. Uh, I think what I want to do now is talk you through my plans. You can see the rewards I'm going to get, by the way. Uh, talk you through my plans with winter wildcard swaps. Because there's a few different options that certain people could go down the route of getting, doing. And uh, I'm, I, I want to know what you guys are going to do. So I know I asked this question yesterday. But please do let me know what your plan is. So for two tokens, you can get Trippier. We could already unlock him. We've got two tokens at present. He looks pretty good. And would be a link for Harry Kane English. I could potentially get him, you know. Three 83 by 25 rare player packs for 20 tokens. That does interest me as a fodder connoisseur. I like the idea of that. And for 15 tokens, well, you can get an 85 plus Winter Wild Cards player pick. That's one of five Winter Wild Cards cards. An 85 by 10 for 15 tokens. That seems a little expensive, but of course, it's great fodder. And you're likely to get something good. 10 tokens for Tonali. Well, to me, he looks a little bit too similar to Benassa, who I've already got. And has never really been a problem for me. So I'll probably steer clear of him. Although he would link quite well to quite a few of my players. Don't really want to spend the 10 tokens on him. 81 by 11 for 3 tokens. You know what? It might be worth a, a little go at that. If you've got spare tokens left over. 3 84 plus player picks for 5 tokens. That one I quite like the look of. Because they're 1 of 4 as well. If there's a promo out, you might potentially get lucky uh, and get a good promo card. Um, it's essentially like the player picks that you get for getting 11 wins in the weekend league, whilst the red player picks weren't there. 83 by 25 for 10 tokens. You're probably better off to save another 10 tokens and then get triple the amount of that rather than just one batch of 83 times 25. You, you know, 20 tokens will get you 83 by 75. So... I would recommend maybe not doing that one. So I got rid of the ones that I didn't plan on doing. Out of 30 tokens, I could theoretically get all of this stuff here done. 
And I think that might be the route that I go down. If I can't manage to get all of them because, you know, maybe they put it behind a paywall and I have to buy a 100,000 coin pack or something, which I might not want to do, um, then, you know, probably the one that would dip out would be the 81 by 11. And that gives me a chance to not do three tokens. Um, so, yeah, I might unlock Kieran Trippier quite soon because I've heard some good things about him. He looks a good card with a shadow on. It's like a 92 rated right back. So, uh potentially good there it's a good way to maybe get harry kane into the squad somehow um who knows what we could what we could make happen there but i'm uh, that's sort of something that i'm thinking about in my head i'm trying to maybe get that to happen because verna wasn't quite cutting it for me today um as much as i like vardiol i don't i don't know if i'd want him on less chem and then verna's the way to get the chem for him and i'm not loving him so uh super sub material but starter mm, i'm finding him a bit meh Di Maria is just a little bit uh, alienated out in that wide camera. I'd normally attack down the other side of the pitch. He's doing all right. I really like him. He's really silky and stuff, but I'm just not getting the use out of him right now. Would you look at that? We've come towards the end of the episode. So I'm planning on doing all 30 tokens worth of stuff there. If I can't get all of them, I'll dip out on one or two of the... Uh, uh, of the fodder packs but yeah i'm thinking maybe get trippier and then focus on the 83 by 75 is that a good idea let me know how many tokens have you got by the way let me know that as well smash the thumbs up on the video 2000 likes is our target is your target are you feeling generous do you want to give me that early christmas present that would be amazing and subscribe to my channel as well if you're new cheers uh down below in the description is a link to my social media sites come and follow me over there have a great day everyone take it easy i'll be back again tomorrow and it'll be episode 97 crazy times i'll see you then peace